officers and crew of the USS Minnesota, man our ship and bring her to life. The day is finally here for the 137 men who make up the crew of the USS Minnesota. After waiting five years for construction to be completed and three years of intense crew training, the submarine is officially commissioned and part of the United States Navy. Today it is the crew of this Minnesota that has the most advanced ship sailing the world's oceans. This submarine is one of the most powerful vessels the world has ever seen. It will serve our nation for the next four decades. The MC for the commissioning ceremony was Lieutenant Commander John Whitty. He's second in command and took us on a tour. All right, I can't wait to go on board. And this is where all of the sailors enter. All right, here I go. Woo! Down the hole. Good afternoon, shipmates. This is the executive officer. I'd like to extend a hearty welcome aboard to our crew from Life Touch. It's hard to believe that a crew of more than 100 men all fit in the 377 foot long sub. All right, well, tell us where we are right now. All right, so right now we're in a fork from an upper level berthing. As you can see, we have berthing on either side of us here. So tell us about sleeping in these bunks. Okay, well, as you can see, there's, a, there's three to a side here. Um, basic six man berthing. You have your curtains, a little privacy there. Uh, typically during, during uh, sleeping hours to turn the lights out, uh, for storage, you have a little uh, under under rack storage there. Fit most of your uh, personal effects. Uh, a little bit of storage up here. Yeah, this nice uh, hook you can hang on here. This nice little handle. Swing on up there. Get a little uh, little rack time. You'll be good to go. Uh, you kind of get used to not seeing the sun. You know, it's uh, you you. We have a routine of 18-hour uh, days instead of 24-hour days, so your body kind of goes through a little bit of an adjustment of that. The USS Minnesota is the 10th Virginia-class submarine, which will be based out of the naval base in Groton, Connecticut. It's a nuclear-powered attack submarine that was designed for the post-Cold War era and is armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles, MK-48 torpedoes, and advanced mobile mines. All right, so where we are, uh, we're in the torpedo room. So as you can see, there's, uh, there's twos one and three right there. Uh, what we have right here, this is a uh, Tomahawk handling shape. So what we use that for is for training, and we also use it to basically test test our handling equipment, make sure uh, our equipment can get it from right here to into that tube and back out. So tell us about all the weaponry on this ship. Okay, so um, forward of those torpedo tubes, we have our vertical launch system, which has uh, 16 uh, tomahawks like that. Uh, right now we're not loaded out, but we will be loaded out in the future. I'm here at the bow of the boat, and you can see all of these different squares. They are actually where all the Tomahawk missiles come out, and there's about 12 of them on the ship. Okay, here we go down. So where are we now? All right, so you're uh, in the control room, and where we're standing right now is called the con. So the items that we have around us here, so uh, this joystick here uh, controls the periscope. So. We've kind of moved beyond your typical scope that you see in the movies where you look through a little eyepiece. That, that's what I used uh, growing, coming up in the Navy, uh, but these are uh, all electronics. If, if you were to compare this to previous submarines, uh, what we have right now is probably a Porsche compared to a, a Mustang. We, we are everywhere and anywhere, so that's the, the main, one of the strengths of the submarine is that you know, we can stay out there and uh, we will remain undetected. The sub is a $2 billion boat that finished under budget and a year early. For the boat's commander, it's been years of anticipation, hard work, and stress, but well worth it. So are you a little <laughs> nervous about the USS Minnesota being under your command? Uh, well, ma'am, I'll, I'll tell you that I was pretty nervous uh, before sea trials, uh, but I'll tell you that uh, through the process of sea trials and this last inspection, the, uh, uh, you know, the crew performed incredibly well. And, uh, and the boat performed well. So uh, I, would, I would say my, uh, my stress level has dropped quite a bit uh, because I, uh, all the training we've done has uh, pretty much served its purpose and I know, uh, know we're ready to go. The crew will undergo a few more weeks of training and then will be ready for its first deployment, which can last as long as six months. Enlisted sailor Tyler Babington gave us a tour outside. 
Okay, so Tyler, what are these ridges for? Uh, these ridges are for the uh, safety track. Whenever we come topside, we'll be in a harness, and this harness has a chain that attaches to this to make sure that no personnel fall overboard, and if they do, they'll, they won't go into the water, and we can pull them right back up. Yeah, so we're, we're headed on into the, into the cruise mess here. There's plenty of Minnesota memorabilia all over the ship, which is painted seafoam green and has signs such as reserved for Minnesota Wild. There's even a plaque which has all the names of the inaugural crew members. This is another, another plaque. Uh, we just basically talk about the history of the ship. Uh, it talks about the third ship of the fleet to uh, bear the name Minnesota. It's got uh, commissioning crew information and a little bit of the history. So the crew, when they're waiting to go eat, eat their lunch or eat their meals. They kind of hang out here and then go down. The sailors come to the mess hall several times a day, not just to eat. It also doubles as a meeting room. Almost everybody does multiple jobs, some as the ship's chefs. Some of the guys here were telling me that how good the food is depends on the mood of the cooks. Is that true? Like when you're kind of like sleepy, do you just throw in an extra salt and stuff like that? Well, I think they try to do their best at all times. <laughs> With so little space, every part of the ship has to serve double duty. The junior fellas may have to hot rack. So the junior, junior guys on board, sometimes we have more guys on board than racks. So what they'll do is each of them has their own sheets and uh, one guy will go on watch and when he, while he's on watch, someone's sleeping in his bed and then and it's that guy's turn to go on watch and then so he'll be gone so a guy can get back in his bed. So they call it hot racking because you get in there and sometimes it's still warm. Back at the commissioning, the dignitaries line the platform to pay homage to the great ship and its talented crew. It's ready to roam deep beneath the sea. For the President of the United States, I hereby place United States ship Minnesota in commission. May God bless and guide this warship and all who shall sail in her. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.